And we can look at it and say Boston just had a bad night. But the reality is they're completely outclassed. They look like a JV team compared uh, to a pro team, not a varsity team, but a pro team in the Cleveland Cavaliers. We all know that LeBron James is the best player in the world. We understand that. We get that. But Kevin Love with his 21 points, four of nine shooting from three-point range. Kyrie Irving plays 33 minutes, drops 23. The Cleveland Cavaliers are walking around laughing at every turn, completely and utterly embarrassing the Boston Celtics to the point where the MVP of the game shouldn't be any of them. It should actually be Isaiah Thomas for being smart enough not to come out for the second half because of that right hip strain. The fact of the matter is why subject yourself to such an atrocity, which is exactly what this was. It has me looking at every GM in the league, wondering why somebody couldn't do something uh, to, to make themselves competitive before the trading deadline. Primarily teams within the Eastern Conference, obviously, but I'm thinking about Golden State as well, even though we know that San Antonio can play. Overall, you're just absolutely disgusted. And just to put things into perspective, I don't have time to watch some nonsense like this. It's a disgrace. It's embarrassing. And as far as I'm concerned, the NBA should be embarrassed for the product that's been put out there compared to Golden State, San Antonio, and Cleveland this year because there is so much subpar basketball. And as far as I'm concerned, this was the latest example of it. I don't think this would have happened to the Wizards, not in this fashion, not with two bigger guards. But nevertheless, the fact that the Boston Celtics are the number one seed and look this atrocious speaks to the discrepancy in talent and the discrepancy in the balance of power in this conference. There's no question in my mind about it.